Lucha Libre. The following is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde, Legado Del Fantasma. And their opponents, first, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Humberto and Angel, the lethal lovers, Los Lotharios. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. Say hello to Imperium. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, Imperium! It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. Oh boy, Graves' favorite show. What's not to love about best friends? Huh, I can name a lot of things. Byron, you've never had a best friend. Yes, he has. Imaginary. And their opponents at a combined weight of 478 pounds. Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. I can only imagine how incredible it feels to be on this stage with your best friend decades together sharing heartbreaks and now it all pays off i can't understand why anybody would want to be around these two i mean look at their history the raw general manager didn't want them around the smackdown general manager didn't want them around nobody wants to be around kevin owens and Sami Zayn. yeah i wish the Sami Zayn and kevin owens show would be canceled well that's because you've never understood what best friendship's all about you've never had a friend let alone a best friend both of the teams facing off in this tornado tag match. In a tornado tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. Kick to the gut.
vicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. DDT! Fishing for something beneath the ring. He saw it coming for Owens.
by Zayn. He's back into the ring. that drew number one and number two will start the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order they drew. This will continue until all 20 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and will go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think mean, LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. Introducing the participants. First, from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. A life-changing opportunity, but an incredible obstacle. Remember the rules of a Royal Rumble match, you eliminate someone when you Cross him over the top rope and both feet hit the floor. The last person standing will be the winner of the Royal Rumble and have their name etched in history. A man who absolutely adores a fight. Introducing the individual who drew number two, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland. The pressure is on. This superstar has succeeded at the highest levels under the most pressure and the brightest of lights. Tonight should be no different. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. And here we go, the Royal Rumble match. The first two entrants are in the ring now, with every subsequent entry heading out to join the fray at set intervals. And just a reminder, this is an over-the-top rope elimination style battle royal. If you go over the top rope and then both feet hit the floor, you're officially out of the match. No pressure though, right? Counting it down, who is it gonna be?
Just hoping to make a big impact here tonight. Oh, effective body blow. and even siblings clash in the Royal Rumble. How should a superstar view an alliance? Alliances should be opponents with extreme caution. They can't be beneficial, but are not usually wrong well last yeah, This is about eliminating as many people as possible. You can be stabbed in the back, front, and the side in this match. And here's someone who can change the complexion of this match in a major way.
into his opponent's head. Who's it?
Ciampa from his game. Honestly, I'm guessing everyone else can smell Chuck Lorenzo at this point. to his opponent before potential elimination. Trying to find a way out. Several right hands, and he's out.
Here is your winner, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Look at this superstar who outlasted all the others. There is no doubt in my mind that this is a Royal Rumble match we'll be talking about for years to come. We really saw what these competitors were made of. She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Old school, classic bruiser, brutality, catch style wrestling skill. Yeah, years of training has led to singles and tag team success here in WWE. No doubt, one of the most dangerous women you'll find in the entire division. A purveyor of discount dental work under the WWE umbrella. Is it just me, or does Shayna sometimes seem mean-spirited? They call that killer instinct, Saxton. And trust me, it's a good thing. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. She won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and is once again dominant. Listen to this place! They're going nuts! Ronda Rousey! Ronda Rousey! Ronda Rousey! Now what differentiates a steel cage from, say, an elimination chamber or a hell in a cell? Simple. Those matches encourage creativity. You can leave the ring, you can move around. This match encourages proximity. You are locked in with your opponent. Or maybe they're locked in with you. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, and a running knee lift by Baszler. Kick right to the back of the leg. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Ooh, a nasty kick. That's disrespectful. Ronda had that scouted. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Ah. Uh, targeting the back. Elbow to the leg, and look at this, just attacking the knee. Attacking the knee. Oh, there's the old stop pulling the leg snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Turns the tables on Rousey. Oh, nice hip toss. And an elbow drop to the arm. Toss. Nasty knee. You'd have to think that in a submission match, the advantage goes to the most tech. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Oh, Ron, with the Yaranagi. <laughs> oh, what a slam. <laughs> Look at this, Byron. With your forehead, Silver draining all the air. Slip through and escape. That was pretty. Hip toss. Beautiful Sambo style. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Ah, suck. 
right to the back. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Jeez. Off the ropes. Uh-oh. Right across the back. Toughness needs to kick in here. So low drop by Rousey. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Ronda's MMA background has her well prepared to pound an opponent like we just saw. Jumping oh. knee strike finds the mark. Targeting the arm with a big stop. Continuing to attack the neck. Draped over the top rope. Smothering offense from Ronda Rousey. Rousey keeping Basil from making any comeback. Watch face first. Rousey showing her opponent exactly what she thinks. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. Dunn is attacking with malicious intent. Oh, that hurts. is being whittled down. There is a lot in Ronda's chamber, and she is unloading it all. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. It might only be Hart keeping Shayna Baszler in this match. She is barely standing at this point. Reversal. Can they go with the attack? Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire.
Baszler defeating the. The one, the only, Logan Paul. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. We knew he was a social media phenomenon, but I don't think any of us ever imagined the aptitude Logan Paul has for sports entertainment. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in boxing. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in WWE. Logan Paul is clearly fearless. Set your DVR. Logan Paul is about to create another viral moment. Yeah, but will it be at Logan Paul's expense? Or his opponent's expense. Logan's opponent should be grateful for the exposure of just being able to stand next to Logan Paul. Well, stop fanboying, Corey. We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. And his opponent, from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. We have one of the most viral sensations in the world here at ring time. There's no wonder Logan Paul has seen so much success in WWE. He's an athlete through and through. He has unshakable confidence and an undying desire to prove anyone who doubts him wrong. We'll see if he came prepared to silence those doubters here tonight, Corey. And you look at Ricochet, this, and he goes for the pin. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. Yeah. Oh, moonsault! Boom! Boot. Nice! Everything working against Logan Paul now. Heavy work being done to Logan Paul right now. Oh, 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 oh. Foot, meet face. We know Ricochet loves a quick pace, Corey. How does one combat against that? That pace can cause Ricochet to get overzealous at times. So maybe baiting him to miss an aerial maneuver can open up an opportunity to cause damage. Oh, elbow in the face. And he's able to reverse. Ducked and caught with an integer. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Ricochet is just unloading now. Ricochet showing off what he has to offer there. Trying to prove a point in doing so. Are you kidding me? 6.30 connects. Ricochet just put the exclamation point on this. Two. Oh my, that was close. Logan Paul showing why you just can't underestimate him in this game. He's got that insatiable hunger. He's got that never-ending gas tank. What else does Ricochet need to do tonight? He's given everything, but still hasn't ended this.
He's still in this fight. Ricochet living to fight another day. Amazing resilience from Ricochet. And again, that Paul thought he had him there. But he really needs to follow up. He can't let time cost him this match. Showing that maybe Ricochet's not the only one trying to prove something. Uh, I think Logan Paul just... Does he have him here? And a strong kick out in one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Drop kick. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, by a drop kick. Shoulders down. Two. I thought he had him. Gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's lining him up. From the top. before coming down like thunder. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly how all your wits about you. It can quickly lead to error. And Paul is being picked apart here. Paul has to wake up and fast. Logan Paul holds him up. Logan Paul has something going. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna clean it up here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless.
The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He is transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish Warriors battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test. And they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose. Absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of this business. This match could easily be history in the making. Oh, Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Tossing them aside. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, stomping away. Like a Terminator, McIntyre's eyes are seeing red. Oh! Unusual showmanship from Gunther here. Oh, 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 nothing fancy about that. The champ trying to look out. Somersault plancha to the floor. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Oh. Going fast and living dangerously. So, uh, how do you prepare for an opponent like Gunther? Uh, I don't know, go a few practice rounds with a semi-truck? Gunther already had next-level power and cruelty, but now that he's transformed his body, his cardio has improved, too. If you're going to beat this guy, you're going to have to match him blow for blow, and that is a tall order indeed. Throw him back in under the ropes. And now Drew McIntyre goes up the turnbuckle. From the top! Here's a pin for the title. Just kicks out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, Let's go kiss from J. 
to McIntyre. Oh, wait, it's time for the countdown. McIntyre! Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. We've seen how things have started to boil over with them. Yeah, Cole, I don't know where they plan on taking this, but from the looks of it, this thing's far from settled. trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, my Lord. The battle cries of a Scottish warrior emanating from McIntyre. Able to sidestep it. And a big move. Oh, oh, man. The challenger eating up some damage. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. Down on the jump. And bite your tongue with that. Side slam. Nice. Claymore connects. You can have a new champion. champion. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen. Charlotte is WWE royalty, but Charlotte often lacks compassion for those around her. Well, that comes with the territory when you've been superior most of your life. 
Flair says she's proud to be a queen and she should be celebrated. Well, Flair will also embarrass and humiliate those who choose not to fall in line. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. The EST is here. This is going to be good. And introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the great EST. Get it? Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan. She is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka! Byron, you are definitely not ready for Asuka. Oh, oh Michael, maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Asuka. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Asuka. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Asuka's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw women's title, SmackDown women's title, NXT women's title, women's tag team title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. And there's something special in the air these days when the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. Giant ramifications for the entire women's division tonight as the SmackDown Women's title is on the line in this match under triple threat rules with Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, the mind of the champion must be going a mile a minute, wondering what's the best strategy in this situation. If you're the champ, you need to make an alliance of some sort. Does you no favors if you're the main focus in this match. You want to make it a one-on-one -on -one and make sure that you're not the odd competitor out. Going for a pin for the championship. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. <laughs> Able to get the advantage here. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. STO! He's set right into the corner. Gotta hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Boom, right to the midsection. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh, that's what they call me. One kick. 
Go for the ride. The runaway slam. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Oh, side slam. The challenger's looking shaken. The queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring it. Face first. In the oh, my God. Debilitating attack on the leg. Asuka turns it around. The size. Ah. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Coming there. 
effort by her. Aka timed that one well. Just running it in now. Oscar looking for it. There it is. Oscar Rock is in. Oh, Oscar. Oh, she breaks the hold. She's on unsteady left. The champion into the cover. Whoa. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Slam! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. The champ in a worst case scenario. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. Otherwise, she's in trouble. What's Belair inventing here? Neckbreaker! I don't know what Oscar could be saying, but it does appear quite insulting. Oh, a strong impact. Heads out of the ring. What's next? She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Suplex. And there's more damage getting piled onto Charlotte. The Queen is dealing with a serious threat to her throne here. Release back suplex. Ouch. The barricade. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Oh, this is unique. Oh, they have a lot of counter. Great escape. <laughs> Driven into the barricade. Suplex. Throws her back in from ringside. Punch him in the chest. There's no superstar quite like Asuka. Hard shot to the back. Uh-oh. Asuka retaliates. Something to waylay her opponent with. Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. And well timed maneuver there. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Uh oh. Both arms trapped. This will not end well. This is not going to be good. What are we going to see here? Submit. Breaking it up at the last second. Big form. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by Kana. A baseball bat? With a weapon like that play? This is not going to be good. Oh, thought that was an elbow. Right to the jaw. And listen to this place. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? She goes back inside the ropes. Squatting too, my gosh! Wow! 
She's getting something from under the ring. And of course, Kendo sticks her always under the ring. On the top. Big miss right there. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Can't prepare your face for that. Superstar, send three, send four, heck, send a whole army. It's only going to be an uphill battle for the competition. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for. The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE universe. Speak for themselves. You gotta be aware of Rollins' main streak. It's ruthless and long. Rollins will do whatever it takes to win, and this superstar has got to have the same mindset.
decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. You're about to enter a battle against the Prince Finn Balor. No turning back now. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight! You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we could possibly see the title change hands and a new champion crowned here tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you think you're putting the cart before the horse, Cole? The champ is the champ for a reason. <laughs> Take down. Looking for the cross base. It's cinched in. This could be over. Give up. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Seeking missile coming at you, and the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, oh nice DDT! Ooh, a sharp kick! Uh oh, oh the high risk doesn't pay off. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk, and I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Oh, that might have just broken something. Seth Rollins and Finn Balor are both extremely agile. I'm thinking this match will be decided in the air. Yeah, Rollins and Finn can both take flight with ease, but they're also very underrated strikers. It'll be interesting to see if these guys trade punches and kicks as often as they go high risk. Here's the twist. Oh, God. Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. The champ taking their share of hits now. Oh, man. Knees, me, face. Rollins with the reversal. Balor just unleashed 
some serious offense on Rollins that might have created an opening. And position oh, forward to the back well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking now oh, a championship level move Dismantles Finn Balor for the win. Changed the entire wrestling world and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Multiple tag team and intercontinental championship reigns during his first run here in WWE. But now that the prodigal son has has reached main event status. Defeating Lesnar? Well, you can almost write your ticket to becoming a legend. A task few have been able to accomplish, and many have fallen to the beast. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way. Looking at a man who's about to come face to face with his greatest nightmare. Unfortunately for him, this is one nightmare you can't wake up from. You've got to live through it. Cody will make sure of it. Cody Rhodes 
out here tonight, always a chip on his shoulder, always with something to prove. And he competes like it. But I would argue that if there is any WWE superstar who has already proven all they have to prove, it is Cody. Absolutely undeniable every time he steps between the ropes. That is the legacy Cody Rhodes wants to uphold. And across the ring is, believe it or not, Cowboy Brock Lesnar. You say that like he's not going to suplex you. Don't mistake Lesnar's geniality for a lack of brutality. He has lost absolutely zero of his killer instinct. He just got a new hat. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Just cranking the head. Oh, 
submission, but I must give credit. Catching Brock like this is an incredible challenge. Kick right oh. by. He turns it around. Could be what Lesnar needed to reawaken the beast. Kick out. for it all. From the top row, through the air, and connects. Big time risk pays off. The Daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Setting up. Vicious Russian leg sweep. in the barricade. sequence from Cody. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cody delivers. What are they doing here? Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Continuing to attack the neck Draped over the top rope. Now, not used to being without the momentum, but I doubt there's. 
is any panic seeping into Brock's mind. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Rolling into a monkey flip. Cody looking to attack from above. Clubbing strike breaks up that move. Mounting and now the oh, punch is hammering away. Ruthless. I don't think anybody can stop the beast in Carter. Down the opponent and a double axe handle smash. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Solid cover. Oh, man, what a kick. He thinks he has it. Kicks out. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Rose looking to end this. Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. If it was anyone other than Brock Lesnar to kick out there, I'd be more surprised. The supreme being of our species doing inhuman things. Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Oh, no. Lesnar wards him off. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Lesnar is getting the whole crowd behind him now. Got the full Nelson. Shoulders down. How in the world did he kick out? How in the world did he do that? The suplex. And listen to this place. It's dominating in here, Michael. Going up top. From the top. And the drop. Rock is in complete command here. Just another day in the office for the Beast Incarnate. Trying to get this crowd on their feet, trying to get them behind him. Big boy. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Nice monkey flip. Rock here now. Not used to being without the momentum. Lesnar needs to reassess his strategy. Four. High rent district for Cody Rhodes. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. And he denies Cody. Brock just got tired of being pushed around. He's likely more aggravated now. And if Brock Lesnar looked at me like that, I think I'd run the other way. And count outs are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Plan here can't be good. Ooh. And he slides him back to the mat. Uh oh. Oh, straight to the floor. That was playing with fire and getting burned. 
decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. To the outside. This could get wild. that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the rest. My bear hug squeezes the breath out of him. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. I don't want to see him tap out. Not like this. He's risking permanent damage. Oh, God. Oh, the attack with a kick to the face. What a springboard attack. And the cover! Two. He kicked out. Oh, my God, he kicked out. How does anyone kick out at this point? Jay Uso has grown accustomed to owning a mountain of tag team gold. But he's proven he can fly solo as well, Byron. You can say that again, Cole. We are looking at main event Jay Uso, as ruthless as they come. The right hand man. He is the Tribal Chief, the most dominant champion of this era. Here's a man who's held the Universal Championship for over two years. Right. Greatness redefined. That's God mode. Part of the pantheon of all-time greats in the WWE. You can count on one hand the amount of people who've held the championship as long as Roman Reigns. No one stands in the way of the head of the table for too long.
Introducing the challenger. And his opponent. A fully confident challenger in their corner. Absolutely hell-bent on capturing the title. After winning this title, the champion seems to be riding high. Any champion's riding high. Cole, what do you want them to skulk around, bummed that they're the best? That's not what I meant. Forget it. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. He moves just in time. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. into the fireman's carry and back. big forearm what a shot out of the ring what's his plan here this could be big from way up good lord taking flight it doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker Into the barricade. Oh, Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting the win. Reigns hoists him up. And gets tossed back into the mat. He's getting a little. Here's the pin title on the line. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Oh, no.
Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Saw it coming and got out of there. Big punch finds its mark. Positioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Ooh, bang! The big dog is unleashed! Somehow Jay's gotta turn the momentum around. Just unloading knees to the bottom. Seen some serious trouble. Yeah, Oos is firing on all cylinders. Power from the suplex. Ah, face first off the post. Champion, 
Roman Reigns. Truly a huge win for this superstar, or should I say, 